Okay, I want to talk about fight scenes. Welcome back, book nerds. Thank you for watching. Let's talk about some good fight scenes. I love fight scenes in books. They're what draw me in. They're what hold my attention. But as my wife points out, not everybody loves fight scenes as much as I love fight scenes. My wife will gloss over fight scenes no matter how well they are written. She loves Robert Jordan, The Wheel of Time. But she admits that the fight scenes, she would just kind of gloss over them, even though they are one of the most beautifully written fight scenes ever created. So, let's talk about fight scenes a little bit. And things that people do in fight scenes that drive me crazy. And the first one, the first one I did for years. It took me so long to break out of the blow-by-blow blow fight scene. I wanted, I envisioned the fight so much in my head. I could see every move because I was in martial arts for 14 years and I knew exactly how I wanted these fight scenes to go and I did a blow by blow you could totally picture every little throw and strike and it was horrible the blow by blow is is probably a mistake that most new writers make because it's a fucking snooze fest second Sharing your emotions or monologuing your emotions in the middle of a fight. That is so boring. And it's just a time and place for everything. There's some things that should not disrupt the tension of a big battle. That is world building and your emotions. Or how scared you are about this whole situation. Or how you're worried about your other friend who's out there somewhere. Or just start talking about the world around you. Like, dude, you are fighting for your life. Like, can we focus a little bit? Like, now's the time for a little hyper anxiety focus. You focus on what you're doing. Because someone is about to fucking kill you, man. <laughs> Okay, next, the one soldier who can take on an entire army of people and not take one scratch. Can we stop doing that? Because that, that for one, horribly unrealistic. Okay, the chosen one, that's great. The chosen one trope is awesome. I love the chosen one. But let's have the chosen one, but also take a little damage. Because... There's no risk if you're Superman and you could just wail in and walk around and break everybody's neck and you're not going to take any damage. There's, there's no risk. No risk, no reward. Fight scenes are important. Half the time they're the climax to your entire book. You've been building the tension all this time to get to this epic battle. So focus on the battle. Don't distract us with these little things. Okay? Focus on the battle. For the love of God. <laughs> okay, and my last point I want to bring up is what's called plot armor. Now, you know, there's these happens in books. This happens where suddenly the character says, Hey, I never told you, but there's this thing that I can do. And suddenly you bring out this thing that makes you immortal. You bring out this thing that makes you immortal, unkillable. This is the perfect time to bring out the thing that makes you unkillable. And I'm sorry, what? Why are we just now hearing about this? Like, I'm sorry, we should have been hearing about this the whole time. Because we've gone through this entire book of chaos, and you didn't bring up this once, but you bring it up now? No, in the middle of the battle is not the time to bring it up. When we are planning this assault, that's when you should have brought that up. So those things make no sense. If you do have this great thing that you can pull out of your ass and save the day, then fantastic. But talk about it early on. Don't just suddenly bring it up because it feels weak. It feels badly written. 
It feels like you just needed a get out of jail free card, so you pulled this out of your collective asses. So don't do that. So as you can guess, I've read tons of fantasy. I've read indie books, and I've read self-published authors, and I've read big time authors that have done all these things. So it's not me just ranting at the self-published author because there are many famous, famous authors who've done this stuff. And so go read fantasy. 